Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Oh, we hope you slept well last night. But chances are some of you in the lot were awoken by an unsettling dream. Nightmares are often cryptic in nature, carrying a meaning that we can't quite finger. We're going to dissect 10 common nightmares and see exactly what is behind these disturbing head movies. Number 10, loss of hair. If you have long, luxurious locks, chances are this dream would send you into a tailspin. Don't worry though, the dream doesn't actually mean your hair is falling out. Typically a dream of hair loss stems from the dreamer's fear of growing old or unattractive, which, well, we guess it could mean your hair really is falling out. On the other side of the balding coin though, the dream could also represent a loss of confidence or wisdom. So not only are you going bald, apparently you're getting dumber and cowardly. Jeez, that is terrifying. Number nine, the natural disaster. If you live hundreds of miles away from a large body of water and you suddenly start having nightmares about tsunamis, chances are it's not your subconscious warning you of an impending wave. That is, of course, unless you've got a sixth sense, then maybe it's best to head for the hills. Realistically though, depending on the type of weather, the dream may be relating to an event in the dreamer's life. For instance, rain could symbolize a need to release sadness, while stronger weather patterns like tornadoes or hurricanes may indicate life-disrupting events going on or something more detrimental to one's emotional state. Number eight, being trapped. Oh, we'll give you just one guess as to what a dream about being trapped could possibly mean. It's likely the easiest nightmare to comprehend, likely meaning that you are feeling trapped in some aspect of your life. Stuck in a relationship you don't want to be in? Hmm? Maybe you've been stuck in the same job for years with no reprieve. Whatever it may be, you may have to refer back to the dream to deduce where it's stemming from. If the nightmare has you stuck in an elevator at work, you may want to reconsider your current career path Look at every aspect of your life to determine where this sense of being trapped is coming from and, once resolved, the nightmares should stop. Oh, and if they don't, then you're just crazy. Number seven, failing a test. You may not realize it while you're having the nightmare and experiencing that rush of anxiety, but dreaming of failing a test is not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, sure, the cold sweat it produces is something you'd rather do without, but when you have a nightmare about failing some sort of test in your life, be it a literal test or a job interview, your mind is actually preparing itself to be more engaged in it. You'll come out of the dream wanting to work harder on said assignment, which is likely to lead to you passing. The nightmare itself is just a manifestation of your fear of failure. So, sorry, no crazy deeply rooted meanings here. Number six getting lost. We'll say outright that your mind can go from being most creative to being blatant as all hell. And in the case of your recent nightmares of getting lost, the cards are all laid out for you. If you're having reoccurring dreams of being lost, be it somewhere you know or an unfamiliar place entirely, there is a high likelihood that you feel lost in your waking life. Like being trapped, dreaming of getting lost can pertain to your social or working life. It's imperative to pinpoint the issue, lest you want to continue experiencing these nightmares. Work out your issues in real life, and the dreamland version of you may start bringing a map. Number five, bodily injury and disfigurement. You're bouncing around quite gleefully in dream world when suddenly things take a dark turn and you accidentally fall on a thick shard of glass, severing your femoral artery. The fact that you were injured pretty badly is no accident. It's your mind's way of making you aware that you are experiencing some level of emotional pain. Typically, nightmares where you are disfigured or injured revolve around emotional well-being but it may also point to possible bad luck or recent misfortunes you may have experienced. Should you have a dream of being injured that startles you awake, take a moment to see what's going on in your life around you. There may be something that needs immediate tending to. Number four, dreams of betrayal. 
Having yourself a dream where someone stabs you in the back? Well, we recommend giving them the stink eye every time you see them and never letting them out of your sight. But again, then, we're alarmists. In reality, chances are you're feeling a bit insecure about something. Whether that insecurity relates to a possible betrayal or other issues in your life is up to you to figure out. Beyond insecurities and feeling betrayed, you may also be feeling a tinge of self-pity. Is something going on in your life that you're feeling a little sorry for yourself over? Oh, boo-hoo. If you're dreaming of betrayal, it's important to find out where these feelings are coming from. You may stumble upon something that needs addressing. Number three, visions of the dead. Dreamers with phasmophobia likely jump out of bed when they meet a spectral guest in their sleep. And sometimes that's an acceptable reaction. When you get down to picking apart what the otherworldly encounter may mean, you start to see something more human about the ghostly visitor. While some nightmares about ghosts may just come from a twisted imagination, others could be directly related to feelings of fear. The ghost could be a symbol of painful, repressed memories, or even just a simple fear of death. Another more dreadful interpretation claims if the ghost is of someone you know that is still alive, it may mean that they are plotting against you. So be on your guard around this individual, and don't hesitate to scream bloody murder and run away! It's totally socially acceptable, all because you had a dream about them. Number 2. Sexual Inadequacy Nobody likes to feel inadequate, especially when it comes to those more intimate of times, hmm? Feelings of sexual inadequacy can be terrifying, but they're no indicator of your sexual performance in the waking world. In fact, if you're dreaming of being sexually inept, it's your mind's way of getting you to realize that you're anxious over something. Anxiety can often lead to a poor sex drive and performance, so it's probably best for your worst nightmares to be realized while you're still asleep. But it's still horrifying to go through when you think it's real. The next time your dreamland showing is a little under par, take a good look at what's going on in your life. If you're having anxieties over something, it may be something you want to address. Number one, creepy crawlies and insects. You may think your nightly dreams about creepy crawlies and other multi-legged creatures is just your entomophobia kicking in, but those abhorrent nightmares stretch beyond your common fear. Nightmares of insects may actually point to relationship, career, or workplace-related problems. What determines the meaning is the kind of bug you're dreaming of. For instance, bees are usually indicative of resentment. Maggots represent an anxiety over death. Mosquitoes mean someone may be draining you physically or mentally. And spiders could mean that you're feeling like an outsider. Hmm. Although, your mind may be reacting to the insects that are actually crawling all over you as you sleep peacefully. Oh, sorry, should we not have suggested that? Do you have any reoccurring nightmares? Do you have an idea for a future Top 10 video? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, top10archive.net. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your family and friends. Nighty-night.